In our first technical session for this series, we will take a look at traffic inspection modes, where I'm going to explain the differences between the two inspection modes available on 48 systems, and we will also uh, talk about their implications on the UTM security engines. The 48 is capable of handling traffic, inspecting traffic in two modes. We've got what is known as the flow-based inspection, aka flow mode, and there is also proxy-based inspection, aka a proxy mode. The main difference at a high level between the two is that the flow mode is going to, as we will see, take a, a snapshot of the traffic that is flowing for the firewall and do the inspection on a per packet basis, where with the proxy mode, we will buffer the communication, keep it in the memory until the all inspections are applied. Now, these, the selection of the mode is going to eventually affect the performance of the 48 firewall, and it will also determine how broad the inspection is going to be, and this way also control what type of features for a given security engine uh, we will be able to use when performing the inspection. Now notice that the selection of the inspection mode is something that you configure on a per firewall policy. If we look at the firewall policy, one of the roles existing or create a new role, one of the options we have inside is to choose the inspection mode. Okay, so under firewall uh, slash network options, this is where we can make the selection. You can configure this setting on a per role basis, which means that some of the roles that you have in the policy could be running using the a proxy mode for a better security for more row inspection versus uh, some other roles. Uh, you may want to configure them using flow mode for instance, to improve the performance for this, uh, for a given communication, for a given session. As I briefly mentioned, flow-based inspection is performed on a packet-per-packet -packet basis, and there is no buffering involved in the uh, process. One small exception to this rule is that the last packet for a given file, email message, maybe website, is always maintained by the firewall until it finishes the scan of this particular element to have the ability to break the file at the receiver side. For instance, if it detects that a given file contains a virus, most since most of the file was already sent because we do the inspection on a packet uh, by packet basis, uh, so in general, it needs to look at the last packet to figure out if there is something wrong within the file or not. It means that the, the first set of packets was already received by the destination, but since the last packet is still held by the firewall in the memory, um, assuming that, it, uh, that this packet is not going to be released to the destination, the recipient will not be able to uh, re uh, reconstruct the file uh, which is going to eventually break the file on the destination side. This way, the firewall still has that, that option to kind of like prevent the attack, a successful attack from happening just based on the fact that it keeps the last packet until it knows the actual verdict for the scan. And this also applies to email messages, websites, stuff like that, anything that is being inspected by the firewall. The main advantages we have in this case, well, first and foremost, is that this mode saves a lot of resources because all the inspections are applied in a, a single pass. The firewall is capable of enforcing different inspection engines on the packets as they go um, in a single round without having to apply them one by one. So this saves resources, this saves time. Plus, this is also a super fast inspection mode, which is going to be good for any type of high throughput, delay sensitive applications. I would say stuff like real-time communication, real-time applications, or maybe as some sort of interactive applications. That would be an example where you could use flow mode 
it just do not uh, not introduce any additional delay to the communication. You guys don't forget to subscribe if you like our content. Thanks. Now, in case of the proxy mode or basically a proxy based mode, we do the inspection on the entire element that we want to inspect at once, which means that we first need to buffer all of the pieces of the component. In this case, we buffer all packets before we apply the inspection engines, which is obviously going to reduce the overall throughput. It is going to slow down the communication since we need to collect all packets for a file, for a website, for an email message before we start the inspection. One option available to kind of like alleviate the problem of that throughput reduction is to tell the firewall to ignore or basically block very large files or messages, uh, this way improving the communication. The main advantage of the proxy mode over flow mode is that it is a more secure approach to scanning. This mode is going to be a perfect fit for any type of a critical environments, the high risk traffic communication, high risk systems, um, sensitive data, for instance, when you want to do inspection on the outgoing communication, or like uh, to see what traffic leaves the organization, maybe enforce DLP, data loss prevention, or basically for any type of communication that is destined to your own network, including email communication, and maybe web traffic to your internal servers, so anything that is not real time, that doesn't really uh, need a lot of throughput and reduce delay, uh, low delay, is uh, it could be a subject to a proxy mode inspection just to increase the overall security of the communication. Let's also quickly take a look at a, a small comparison for these two modes. Um, as we will see, the actual modes, they will also affect the, the features available for the inspection with one or another UTM security engine. UTM stands for Unified Threat Management, which is talking about the different security profiles available um, for the OS. So those individual inspection engines that we can enable in our firewall poles. Now, the first difference is that the flow mode versus proxy mode features for this or another engine, they will be either available from the, just from the command line or maybe from the GUI and the command line. So most of these, as you can tell, like if we take a look at antivirus, you can do antivirus, configure antivirus from the GUI and command line, regardless of the inspection mode. Now, the same applies for web filtering and a lot of other inspection engines that we see on this list. But notice that in some cases, like for instance, video filter, video filter is an example of something that is not available in the flow mode. It's something that you would need to enable the proxy mode to use at this feature. Another one that has similar limitations is inline CISB. Then we've got ICAP, a web application firewall. Uh, data loss prevention, if you take a look at this one, for instance, it is only available on the command line in flow mode versus when you use the, the proxy mode, the proxy features will be also available via the GUI. So basically, you can tell that not all engines can be configured using the GUI, plus some of its features will 
only be available via the CLI, of course, assuming that the actual inspection mode supports them. This is how you should read for this a document. Now, we also have a, a slightly more detailed breakdown, which shows us the comparison of these two modes for a bunch of different engines. Antivirus, web filter, email filter, and data loss prevention. For instance, if we take a look at antivirus, we see that the content disarm feature is not available in flow mode, same as a sandbox inline scanning. But then we've got some limitations for the replacement message. It says IPS engine caches the URL and the replacement message is presented after the second attempt. So there is some, I would say, roadblocks for some of these features depending on the inspection mode. Another good example would be to uh, look at the web filtering, where, for instance, even that the 40 guard category based filter is available when you use flow mode, it says that the local and remote category filters do not support the warning and authentication actions. Usage quota is not available in flow mode. So as a rule of thumb, you can basically assume that all features are going to be available for the proxy mode, since as we said, it keeps, it holds the entire packet before applying the inspection, so it sees the whole file message email, just the whole element it wants to inspect. The first is with flow mode, some of the features will uh, not be available at all uh, versus uh, for both of these modes, uh, the part of the features will only be available from the command line and not uh, the GUI. 